this is a uh, home of nature we conserve we manage whatever god has given to us especially we focus on the wild animals alongside our land our river bodies and trees once upon a time there live a lot of communities on this land around the 1930s these communities were living with these wild animals and there were frequent human wildlife conflicts attacks whilst one is moving from one community to the other so around the 19 57 where we had an independent then all the people were relocated to a safer ground and then the area was gazetted as game reserve where we don't do tourism we don't do recreation but we do protections only then there came a point after we seen that there were a lot of animals and a lot of things to exhibit, to showcase that Ghana we have rich resources. 1971, we upgraded the park to a national park where we do conservation alongside recreation. That's why today you are here for recreational purpose, to tour and then to see what Ghana has. So, this park, we can boast of a lot of elephants, about 600 individual species of elephant. Yes, the recent survey we carried out, though the final results is not in, but the drafted re report shows that we have that number of elephants in the park. Buffaloes. We have almost 700 buffaloes, hatabis, uh, roan antelopes, we have almost 600 as well. And then the water box, we have almost 800. Then which box, that's the one sign, the one that Winneba people use for their festival, Abuachere. We have a lot in the park. We have the watoks, the bush pigs. They are now turning to be domesticated. They always live with us in the communities. Uh, we have a lot of butterflies. That those who are in love with butterflies come around and we take them through butterfly tour. Bears. Over 300 species of bears. And then we have the reptiles, the crocodile. We have the snakes, the python, the African royal pattern we have we have uh, uh frogs and other reptiles as well then what we do here is 24 hours surveillance we have law enforcement officers who go around the park 24 hours doing surveillance patrols to protect the park from poachers so as I'm speaking to you now, our men are all over the park. But let me also remind you that the park covers an area of about 4,577 square kilometers. It shares boundary with about five district assemblies. The one that you just came from, the Savannah region, formerly West Gonja. Now we have the Solar Tuna Kalba district. It moved to Finsi district, that's the upper east. Then it moved to the Mamprusi area, and then it came back to uh, west uh, North Gonja district, that's Daboya. Then it came back to our famous community, Lalubanga. So 
right now, what I want to plead is about the noise because animals in this park are living on their natural habitat. They are not at a place where we just go and look at them. There are other species that we are likely to see on our way. But once we are making a lot of noise, definitely they will scare them, the animals to run away. So as we are going, we are likely to see the antelopes. Antelope is a general name, but they are in different species. We have about eight different species of one antelope. We have the roan antelope, we have the hatterbees, we have the waterbuck and cob, bushbuck and the reflant dica and great dica. So these are the type of the or the different kind of the species that we have about the antelopes. And right now these are the elephants are also in the water. Elephants doesn't like a lot of noise. So when we get there, let's comport ourselves because you can see the number is too big or so huge that anything can happen. But we have never recorded any incident. We the guys, we always make sure that we protect each and every one. And as I said, since Moli became a national park in 1971, we have never recorded any incident. So based on our effort, we always want to maintain that record. So please, the noise is the most important thing I want to tell everybody. So thank you very much. In Ghana here, we have two different species of an elephant. We have the forest elephant and the savanna elephant. And when you look at Moli National Park, it's a woodland savanna area. So they are classified to be a savanna elephant because Moli is a savanna. So this elephant you are looking at, they are all male elephants. The females are far, far, far from where human activities take place. They are more aggressive than the males ones. All the males will move to where the females are. After the mating is over, and they come back. Yes. And don't be surprised, it only lasts only 60 seconds. <laughs> when we see the elephant, when you look at some of them at the back, they look grey, other look black. Those that look black is the actual colour of an elephant, which is dark. The colour of an elephant is dark, but because they always put the mud on themselves, that made them to look grey. Can we up to 6,000 kilograms? Uh, six tons. Oh. And they can also take about 50 gallons of water. Yes. So now, these elephants, they are one of the fastest animals. They can run 40 45 kilometers per hour. Wow. Forget about the body. Don't mind the body. Whatever they want to do, they will do it. But they have a very good memory. All of us here, if you come back here 10 years time, this elephant can recognize you. So somebody asks a question about, that's where I'm relating it to. They are used to the environment. They can my scent or whatever they smell me already long 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 time several times so all of you some of you will be the new people to them so that's how they are so when you do something wrong to an elephant they don't forget because that's how they move at the age of nine to ten years the female will kick the male out of the material heads to join the male group 
So that's how they train. So when they join the male group, wherever they go, the adults one or the leader, that initiate the movement so that the young ones will also learn from them. So wherever they go, they can find their way back to in a safety place. In case there is a danger, they can identify that this area is ever been dangerous for me. So that's how they, they behave. They can live up to 70 years. But in the world now, like this is 65. And the reason is that at the age of um, 30, uh, 65 years, they will lose their granity. That is where they will die out of starvation. Yes. But in the captivity, the Sioux guys like me can feed them the salt feed to lead them to that 70 years. What do they eat? Elephant is a purely herbivorous uh, animal. They eat the grass, the leaves, the bark of the tree and the root. So sometimes they can push a tree down, not because of the leaves, but the root. They are interested to. Yeah. So they, they, they eat a lot. They spend about 18 hours for eating. Yes, 18 hours. <laughs> every system here. As you can see, we have these um, screens. We monitor every single parameter that go down there, voltage, frequency, everything, temperatures, pressures, we are able to see them from here. At the security point where you, where you stopped, from here on our left, the arrangement that you saw there, that's what we call the switch yard. And that is the schematic diagram of the switch yard that you see here. At the moment, we have two units running, unit three and unit two. Unit one is not running, but it's a standstill, yes. At Bui Generating Station, we, each of our generators um, is able to give out um, 130 megawatts, 130 megawatts each. And then we have a small one that we call the Terminate. It also gives um, four megawatts. So as we speak now, you can see our unit three giving us 120, and then our unit two giving us 120 megawatts into the system. When I say system, I mean the national grid. We all operate within the national grid. The grid is like a basket where every generator in the system, all of them, we generate onto it. Yes, so in brief, that's what we do here. And you can see that we are very happy the caravan is here. We've been, since the start of this um, generation here in Bui Power, we've been having people touring our plant. But so far, this is the largest number. And to have the city caravan here, it is a plus for us. That is why we are so happy. And, and the Bui Power is generating currently on hydro. We use hydro to generate and very soon we will be going into solar so our plant will be a hybrid plant we are planning on adding on 250 megawatts solar I, when you were driving around you saw the solar farm being constructed we started with the 50 megawatts very soon by the end of next quarter the 50 megawatts will be tied into the grid and phase by phase we'll be adding on 50 50 until we get our 250 megawatts we have also um, uh, uh, done the switch yard to be able to evacuate the additional 250 megawatts solar as we go on. So we are ready for the hybrid. <laughs> <laughs>